So it's your first time in Dark RP, or in Gmod in general. Well, I would like to first welcome you guys. My name's Aqua, and I'll be teaching you guys the basics of Dark RP. So, we're here on my server, Kush Networks. We're currently um, still in development. We are released, you guys are able to join. Our Discord will be in the description. Well, I'll be showing you guys the basics of Gmod Dark RP, and just how to start for your first time. So first thing you do, you'll probably spawn a spawn similar to this after loading into your server. You can it can be ours or really any server. Um, it's pretty. Uh, it looks a little bit complex, different. Some will have spawn protections like the one we do, and you'll see above your screen. Some may not. You'll see probably maybe some NPCs or maybe even banks in the spawn, some doors and stuff. Well, first thing you're gonna want to do is press F4. It's going to bring up a menu like this. It'll probably bring you to the dashboard. Ours just looks like this. Others may look different. You more or less just want to locate yourselves the job category. And the first thing here is you'll see a bunch of jobs you can become. Um, a lot of people strive to more of the illegal jobs. So that's for us here at the bottom. Um, or you can even do maybe some more legal jobs. You want to own yourself an arcade trash man. Just to let you guys know, Darker P is more of an RP game, so it does require you to interact with people, and it makes it 10 times better if you do have a mic, just to let everyone know. But for today's video, I'll be showing you guys the basics of Dark RP, kind of base building and all of that. So we'll be doing the job thief over here in our illegal category. This is what most people start on, and it's a really easy job to understand. Now, you do start as the job citizen. The job citizen more or less it's just like a job where you can roam the city um you get not a lot of money you can only base and yeah it, it does it, it has its perks but a lot of people prefer vi um to use thief because thief does allow you to raid bases um do a lot more illegal activities and mug etc so i'm gonna be showing guys the first thing so if you use soil to circle through your guns, you have the fizz gun, the gravity gun, usually your keys inventory, and usually on thief you'll have like a key cracker and like a lockpick. These will you'll use to hack into bases, and you also usually have a, a tool gun. So you have those, you can leave spawn anyway, and you just want to find yourself an unoccupied building. So we're going to go do that. I'm deciding where I want to live. Um, I'm thinking right up here in these apartments, you can just open doors and I'll just pick up the top right hand apartment up here. So you'll come up to this door, it's a private property for sale and you simply just want to press F2 and you'll want to buy the door. Now, if you don't know if someone owns it, it should say private property and usually a user's name and how many people they have on the door. Um, it may differ from server to server how this looks, but this is basically like a default text of it. So you'll now want to find your keys tools. It should be in your second slot, first or second thing, depending on the server and what they have with default spawn. You'll simply just want to right click. It will unlock the door. You press E and it will open. And you can walk on in, close it by pressing E again and left click to lock it. And you'll want to buy any other extra doors in the house or any doors around the house. There's only one other for this apartment. Now, what we're going to want to do as a thief, basically, we're going to want to set up our base and start making money on the server. But to do that, we're going to want to actually open up the door first, open it up, and we're going to be on the outside. We're going to want to hold Q. This is going to bring up the build menu. Make sure you're holding, not pressing. So on the right hand side, you should see something called tools. You're going to want to simply search for text or find in the right hand side. This is what we call the text screen. Now we're gonna wanna put we're gonna wanna type down here in the text area building. You can select the color and if servers they may have rainbow text. If you want to use rainbow text, go for it. Um minimum most servers require you use to like the text size 50 or higher. So we'll just be keeping it 76. Really doesn't matter. I recommend going with big so everyone knows what's going on in building. I like to move my sign a little bit more out so people can see that we are building over here in this place. So boom. You have your building sign out so people know you're going to be building. But I'll be teaching us kind of the basics of building. So you want to close your door, lock it so no one can break in. And 
Also, building signs declare they cannot RP or break into your house or steal anything from you. But that also means you cannot have any illegal things or anything that's making money. Anything that could evolve around RP, so like printers, etc. But we'll get into that stuff later. But we simply just want to set up our home first. You want to press Q, find some nice looking props, and we'll like set up the basics of a house. I'm going to spawn in this fence right here. I like how it looks. And we'll simply just want to put it right in here. Like right like this. And we'll use it as kind of a door system. Like an airlock if you ever played Rust. Or if you know what that is. We'll have it kind of like this. Boom. This is kind of like a default airlock. And it'll separate us or anyone who tries to rob us or anything. And yes, people can rob you once you remove your building sign. So now you have like a basic airlock. By the way, feel free to make this as big as or small as you want. It's obviously your choice. Um, most servers... They'll have a fading door limit or a door limit. So on our server, it's three fading doors, but we're only going to be setting up one today just to make this tutorial faster. Um, obviously, check with the server's rules or just feel free to ask staff. And most servers, if you'd like to ask staff, you can type slash report. And it'll bring up like a report menu or you can just simply do at and type in how many fading doors or ask a question that will contact any admins or staff on the server and they'll help probably easily help you and tell you how to play this tutorial doesn't help you now next we're going to hold q menu we're going to look up at the tool and the tool section is again fading doors so perfect this is your fading door tool but we're going to want to keep in q menu make sure you guys copy my settings make sure reversed and toggle active are not checked you may add a sound if you wish and choose your button. I'll be going with numpad one or anything that's easier to reach that's not already set to a key bind you're using in game. So I'll be using my numpad as I find it easiest for me to use. Now we simply just want to click on what we want the door to be. So I think right here would be a great place for my door. Boom. This has now been hit your door. This is now your door. You're only like, how do I activate this? Well, simply you just want to press the thing that, uh, you set it to so mine was numpad one i press it i'm holding it not pressing it to hold it and it'll open up and you can simply just walk through it like that now you let go turn around it's not there so see walk through it now when i'm not holding you cannot walk through it now you're going to be like well that's cool how do i let my friends open the door because it seems like i'm the only one that can do that that's very simple you just want to look up keypad we're going to pull out the keypad to a tool and now you can set your access pass to whatever you, you want. I'll set it to 19. It can be a max of four and a minimum of one. So we'll have ours set to 19. And secure mode, I recommend keeping secure mode, weld and freeze on. Access granted, you wanna make sure it's the exact same key for that fading door. And ours is numpad one. Most servers minimum hold length is five seconds. So I recommend keeping that on five seconds or even turning it up. Access deny is usually five seconds or turn it up. Obviously, I would check with your server admins and the rules. My ours are five, and we can keep that perfectly fine how it is. Now simply, we'll just wanna place it right here on this door, on this side of the wall, boom. And just to show you guys it works, you wanna press 19 into the keypad, press okay. And it will open up our door. Interesting. Um, that didn't work. That's because I'm a little bit dumb. I don't think it set it to our right door. Sometimes if it's saved as preset as numpad one, sometimes it will glitch out and not fully open the door right. So I just had to simply just click on it and it'll let me press any key and hit numpad one again. And that will fix your problem. Make sure you have it on both sides doors. That's required on all servers. I can tell you that. So anyone who wants to hack your keypad can hack on this side and hack their way back out. Now you have a basic two door setup. Um, next, you're gonna probably want to is we're just gonna remove our building sign. So we're gonna hold our numpad one, exit through the, the airlock, enter it, pull our keys, unlock the main door. Boom. We now see this building sign. We're gonna wanna simply take the remover tool by holding key, Q, typing remover, finding the remover tool, selecting it, and just clicking around sometimes it's a little bit glitchy for the hitbox for it so you just have to click around until it finally removes your sign now your sign has been removed we're going to actually want to add our own one and we will now want to write the words in it kos and then we'll do a hyphen inside 
space slash lock picking door. So what KOS is for means kill on site. So if you see anyone inside your base or locking and picking on door, that means they will be killed on site. So you simply just want to place it out on mine a little bit. Sometimes they can glitch with the doors, so that's why I always move mine out a little bit so everyone can see. Actually, I'm going to press Z on my keyboard, which will redo that, and I'm just going to make it a tad bit smaller for me. Around 59 is a good size, I found. So we're just going to like that. Perfect. And now simply we're going to come over to the store, close it like that, lock it, press our numpad one, or you can also type in the keypad. Now you have our integer base and we're going to want to start making money most thief jobs you're allowed to um, place down printer so press f4 it's going to bring up that menu again you should see something called items or like entities etc just like a place where you can purchase stuff as ours is certainly leave items and it'll say entities and more for the description you'll click on that you'll find an item called printer ours are called one printers that's how you make money you simply want to buy them. Also, some servers may have Bitcoins, etc. On our server, that's another job you have to set up. So I'll be showing you guys how to do Bitcoins later on. Um, once you purchase the item, you'll simply spawn it in. Ours are kind of big, a little bit big for this room, but we're going to push it up against the wall with our fizz gun. Make sure it's nice and even. Just a quick building tip. Once you're holding with your fizz gun, you can press Shift E, and it'll even it out, make it perfect to whatever degree. So if we hold on this thing, shift E makes it perfect. Just for you perfectionists out there to make everything look nice. Now, next we're going to want to go over here and we'll want to unlock your printer by hold, looking at it or pressing E. Now our printer is unlocked. We'll want to head over to the shop and buy some servers. Boom. We bought, I'll buy three servers. Since I am the owner of server, I get access to all the servers, um, the default users. I think should get access to about four servers. And if you have VIP, you get access to more. So now we have simply bought um, some upgrades. So what each upgrade does, server um, increases how much income you can have. These right here are called water cooling. It just makes it cooler for your PC. And the power, um, this access is more power unless you overclock more. So that's why we bought it and also unlocks more um, uh, what's it called? Water cooling. And we also bought overclock. So it will increase our income by 54% and also um, decrease our temperature. Now at the top, there's also other upgrades. You can obviously read them, see what they do, etc. But the top will press home. You'll see like a screen, how much money you're making, and etc. But your thing is not making money. Obviously, we want to come down here, click start. It's a little bit loud, but you can actually buy noise reduction upgrades. So I should be doing that. So you guys just don't have to hear that annoying noise. And now boom, it's silent. Hit the home button again. You can see it's going to make us $1,386 in 12 seconds. And that's just the basics of this. So we're going to actually leave this run and leave our base. Make sure you guys don't tell anyone where your base is or you have printers in it. Because if a cop hears that, they can't come read your base. So we're going to simply just open up our fading door. Make sure it closes behind us. Oh, unlock the door with right click. Lock it again with left click. Someone just said hello in chat. Just had them friendly. Um, now we're going to want to go find a base to raid or etc. But I'll just be using the thing next to me. No one's obviously in here. But if someone was, you would simply, let's say, um, actually, we can just raid our own base. Because, you know, for tutorial purposes, I'll be showing you how. Obviously, you wouldn't do this in an actual RP server. Um, obviously, you wouldn't do this in an RP server for your own days. That's just dumb. So, we're simply just going to come on over here to this door. And you want to type slash. You would open up your chat and type slash advert. This means you're doing an RP scenario that you want to declare to people nearby you. That's happening. So, if you're a mug zone, you would do advert mug. Or for this video, we're going to be raiding advert raid. And if you're doing this with a friend, they would do advert raid assist. And you would just simply press enter and it'll do this. And it'll be like yellow. And that means you may now commence your raid. Most servers, you have a time limit. So it's usually 5, 10 to even 15 minutes on how long you're allowed to um, raid for. 
So you will want to right click with your lock pick and it'll start lock picking the door. By the way, if someone is inside, they'll probably be shooting at you. So it's best you do buy a gun from another player or a gun dealer. I'll be showing you guys how to get guns after this. So after you've lock picked in the first door, it'll let it open. And yeah, I would usually shoot someone in here if there's a person, but thank God we're just test rating. Um, you'll now see this little keypad and also like this, uh, this thing right here. So you can A, lock pick the fading door, or B, you can actually take your keypad cracker and hack these things. I'll just hack this for example, and it'll make the noise of it's being cracked or hacked, whatever you guys want to call it. We're almost there. Sorry, the since this is default job and not a VIP job, uh, it is a little slow. But you can actually buy VIP keypad crackers. And sometimes it takes a second for the door to open up. Um, That's a little bit weird. It's not working. Huh. I fading door broke. Uh, I was not expecting that. Um, That's an issue. I'll look. I have to fix that. Uh, But let's say... You lock pick through. Now you're in. You can simply come up to here, withdraw the money from the printer, or hack the printer. If the printer was locked, like ours on our server, we'll lock it, for example. There will be a little hack icon up here, and you'd simply press E and do the hack event. It's a very simple thing. But now I'll be showing you guys how to buy guns. We'll simply just leave the base. But that's just um, a little default thing. Also, when you're leaving, you need to do slash advert over slash false to let everyone know that you have finished the raid. And um, there's also something called NLR. NLR means new life rules. So if you get killed, you may not um, return to that location and everything in that previous life you must forget. So if you die and you're, someone said a base code, you're not allowed to remember that or use that as that would be considered fail RP as you have already died and lost that information. Now, and you can also not return back to your base for about five to 10 minutes. Um, so now we will be showing guys how to buy guns. Usually we want to find a gun dealer, ask an OOC. An OOC is called Global Chat. Um, that's how you talk to everyone and not just the people around you. So when you simply type like this, hello, no, only the people around you will see. But if you want to type in Global Chat, you would do slash slash, or you can type slash OOC. And you can just put A or whatever, really hello. Um, either way works. He gets an A, but now most gun dealers will set up right here. This is the default gun shop for most dark RP servers, but we let anyone buy there and live there. Or really gun dealers or black market dealers, they both sell weapons or around the city. But let's say you want to become one of those dealers. You'll simply press F4, go to the jobs, and find the job area. So simply we see gun dealer, we'll just become him. Boom, you have now become the gun dealer. You have to leave spawn as you can't RP and spawn, just like the sign says. So now we're technically out of spawn. You can now um, buy and sell guns. The best way to do it is simply come over to entities, go to weapons or shipments. Um, some servers, they will have shells. So let's say someone comes up to you and says, hey, gun dealer, I want to buy an AK-47. You'd be sure. And you see it's $7,000 for you to purchase it. But since you are selling it and you want to earn money, you're going to want to say, pay me 10 grand or something like that. Now be simply up marking it and you will be earning $3,000 and that person will be getting the gun and they'll drop you the money. Um, you can then simply just click on it. The gun will be bought and they will just pick it up from you or you can pick it up for yourselves. And yeah, you can shoot with left click, aim down sights with right, obviously like any FPS. You can also drop guns. If you picked one up by accident, you can type slash drop in chat. It will drop your gun. You can pick it up again. I'll be showing one more thing. You can type slash invent holster like so. It will in it'll inventory it and you'll be like, where's my inventory? Well, what's nice about your inventory is it saves every time that you log out the server or something happens, or your game crashes. Anything in your inventory will save even when the re server restarts. So it's now in your inventory. You can hold C, you can find your inventory. Some servers, you also have to navigate to your inventory pick dropper and right click, and there's your inventory. See, there's the AK we dropped. We could simply just use it, and we have the AK gun. Um, that's some things. A few more things I wanna go over. Um, to mug people, you just need to do slash advert mug. Usually there's a cooldown of 10 
minutes to five minutes. Same thing for rating. There's always a cooldown to five to ten minutes. So you can't go back to back rating the same person or just other people in general. Um, Dark RP is a complex game mode. Um, but it's very easy to learn, honestly. It's just taking time to remember things. I will be making more in-depth tutorials on every job and how to do them. Um, money, the main way to doing that is doing jobs or printers. Um, you can buy VIP from other servers and it'll unlock more jobs. For our server, you can unlock these certain jobs. So yeah, if you guys have any questions about the basics of our Dark RP or how Dark RP things work in general, Feel free to comment them down below. It has been Aqua. Hope you guys have learned something. Um, if you need any help, feel free to comment or join our Discord. I am more than willing to help you. Have a good rest of your day.